Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, the fastest way to level up on the early stages of the game, as well as giving you a quick look at Pixar. So first of all, we're on the character creation menu. Uh, it's very standard, same as uh, Survival Evolved. You can choose, you can actually choose your costume you can start with, as well as your hairstyle, hair colors, brown style, brown colors and eye style as well as your color and facial features so it's not not very complicated very very simple very easy to go through you can actually also add jewelry jewelry i'm gonna give myself an ice patch here uh you can also modify the size of your body i'm not sure if this actually works like the hitboxes in r so we're gonna do it like i can do it in r pvp and just make the smallest character possible to reduce my hitbox. There we go. I'm gonna change the sex of your character if you want to. Alright, so I'll name myself Mr. Dolphin here. I'm gonna choose a rally point. It doesn't really matter which rally point we use. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna use rally point 5. Uh, oh, actually, we'll use. Alright. I wanna use rally point 2. We'll use rally point. Very indecisive. Alright, we'll use rally point 5 this time around. Uh, so, the first steps on power leveling on Pixar is very simple. It's almost, if you play Arc Survival Evolved, it's almost the same process. Except that in Pixar, you do get more levels by killing things. In the early stages, at least. Most of the game, you do get more XP by killing things. So things are in Pixar are just like very similar to Minecraft. Now, however, if you pick the grass and the ground, it will actually give you attach. And there's little bushes here will give you fiber and berries. So I want to punch a tree, some resources. So there we go. We punch in the blocks do for dirt. Making this, and the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna level up a couple points into HP. So you can see this is the crafting menu. If I just press an I, you guys will press V, like the kitchen that I always need in my life. And you can craft directly, just like an R. You have a crafting menu, angry menu, quest manager, uh, and you try covering instead. So you can make a tribe here, and it gives you the tribe blocks just from survival involved. So we're gonna go to the craft menu and we're gonna immediately make a pickaxe and a hatchet. Now you can also learn as well a couple of the stuff. The first thing I do is always learn the, the campfire and learn some cloth armor. Now you can also learn the box if you want. So the first thing we're gonna do is farm a bunch of blocks here. I'm gonna need those blocks for a bit. I'm also gonna focus on getting wood and fiber and thatch very quickly. I'm not really focused on killing things, but before I start killing Indian, I do want a spear. All right, kill things here. Uh, you do have to be careful of Fiumias. If you, unlike the Fiumias on Survival Ball, if you actually attack that Fiumia, it will actually hit you back. And most things here in the early game do a lot of damage. You can kill those little male big rabbits for some XP in leather as well. Although, although they tend to run very fast. And when you kill something, it gives you a block that you can use to farm. In this case, it gives you some fur. I keep collecting some fiber here as quick as, as, quick as I can. as well as wood. So the first thing I want to do is get a get a spear right away. Uh, we got I'm gonna keep putting more points into health. Uh you don't I I noticed that I haven't had the need to put money points into weight. I only put like two points into weight in the early stage of the game. 
due to the things being very light in this game. Things like copper ingots and most most, most of the ingots are the ones that weigh quite a bit. Alright, so we won level six. There we go. So now we have a level six. The first thing I'm going to learn is that a spear. And I'm gonna make I need some rocks. Okay. And for this, we might have to excavate a little bit. There we go. I see I rocked out. I'm gonna hit this with my pickaxe. There we go. So that gave me a rock note. I'm gonna make one spear. Everything in Everything in Pixar has no durability. So every time you m make something, it will have it will have no durability. So you don't have to worry about things breaking on like the base game. So we're gonna equip our armor very quickly, and you go through levels very quickly. Um, even the, the official um, in the official surface, we went through levels extremely quickly. So what I can do here, uh. I can start killing dodos. I don't want to kill uh, the dodos that are next to that bronto. And things like dodos and things like rabbits die very fast. So we'll keep killing these for XP. Same thing, you can harvest them with the hatchet. Uh, that make mushroom will actually fight back if I attack it. So I'm trying not to get nearby it. Uh, you can go between first person and third person view by pressing the middle mouse button on PC. I'd like switching to first person when I'm harvesting. Killing things. So I'm a little more accurate. Uh, some animal will actually give you treasure as well. Alright, so I do want a lot more levels a lot quicker. So what I want to do here. I'm actually going to try to kill this few in my early game. And it's almost the same principle as the AI in art. You can actually dance around with this dino. So I'm going to hit it from the back. I'm going to circle around it. So I'm always hitting it from the back. Because if this guy hits me, he will actually do a lot of damage to me. It would work better if I was in a flat area. But it's okay. Try to chase it. And there we go. That gave me pretty much the whole level. And now I have easy leather. So same thing. Uh, as soon as I hit level 6, the first thing I want to do is kill. Start killing things. Uh, I personally like to focus more into HP when I'm in the early game. So if I do get hit by things like Fiumia, I can actually survive. Uh, the next thing you want to do is power level until you have enough thatch and wood to make a, a bow and a sleepy arrow. And once you have the sleepy arrow, you can knock out the radon and tame it, but you can also knock out the radon with like two arrows or three arrows, depending on the level. To get more XP. So don't try, don't try, don't try killing a Tyrannon with a, with a stone arrow at the very early stages until I have some sleepy arrows. So here we go, we got more levels now. So I'm going to go back to my Ingram menu. As you can see, I can learn a wooden floor and a touch foundation at the same time. So what I want to do is, I'm going to start crafting... A bunch of Tatch Foundations. That will also give me a large amount of XP. But definitely killing will be the fastest way. So what we're going to do next is keep collecting wood. Keep killing things. Keep collecting leather from their bodies. 
and you repeat the same process over and over again until you reach level 15. Yeah, you got another level. But right now I'm wanting to get more wood. I want to get more thatch. Because we're gonna keep making foundations. My goal here is in this early stage of the game is to get a bow and arrow so I can kill Fumius with a with a bow and arrow a lot quicker. Uh, I would not focus on trying to kill anything besides Packies, Fumius, and Tyrannons on the early game until you have an, uh, a decent weapon or now uh, decent HP to actually kill stuff. But a, a raptor, a raptor, a argent tables will kill you almost instantly. So here I want to fight this thing on flat land. Because these guys do hit pretty hard. The same thing. I'm just moving to the sides, forcing the AI to go around me because the AI and Ark, just as Big Sark, will try to face you forward. So now it's running. I have to watch out for my stamina. So, gotta be careful I don't aggro this stuff. Now I'm getting some very easy leather. As you can see, I'm not really focusing on building anything. I'm mostly focusing on levels. At this point in the game, you really don't need to build anything. Maybe a campfire if you get really hungry. We can just... Alright guys, so I, I hit level 20 already. So we have two bows here. Uh, you can learn those bows when you get your anchor menu. You can type bow, which is at level 15. You can also type arrow, which is at level 15. You just want to make the sleepy arrow at the same time. And you craft this with uh, by just having narco berries and stone arrows in your inventory. You just craft them from there. Same thing, flint and wood. Flint, as I said before, is not too difficult to get. These are flint notes. And I'm using my stone pickaxe to harvest them, which makes my life a lot easier. And at this point, there's a couple things I can do. I could tame a Tyrannon, or I just keep killing things. And it really depends on what you want to do. I think once you get a Tyrannon, once you get a Tyrannon, regardless of level, uh, it'll, it opens up the map for you to the point where you can do anything. So at this point, we have knocked out this round. I'm actually going to put meat. I'm going to transfer meat with tea. Uh, there's a misconception here where a lot of people think that you can put the meat in here but actually it goes in this empty box here you can actually see it and then if you see it's highlighting a box all around it you cannot put it in here if i try to do that nothing will happen so it goes in this box here you can drag it you can press t and it will automatically go in this inventory uh, you gotta make sure that you also keep your team knocked out because it might wake up uh also if you're afraid that you're not meat you can just keep killing more things like dodos fiomias and at this point as i said before things become a lot easier uh you can pretty much insta kill anything that's in the starting zone so here one shot is level seven which is a bone and arrow and at this point, this is what you want to do, just repeat the process over and over again. Craft arrows, craft the sleepy arrows, and kill things over and over until you have enough leather and leather armor for you to travel out. To go out there and travel. And you can probably look for a better place to build as well. But once you get once you get around on it, it pretty much opens up the whole map for you. You can go anywhere you want to build. Um I noticed places like near the obelisk have given me some decent loot as well. But we'll cover that in a different video. Uh, we can also make the saddle at this point, I believe. I, I can make a saddle, there you go. Tyrannon saddle. Uh, also, you can go to your ingrams and learn Tyrannon saddle. You can learn Tyrannon saddle in the metallurgic, metallurgy, whatever you pronounce it, uh, ingram section. And there it is. Tyrannon saddle. Uh, Damien and, and Pixar 
does not take as long. You don't have to wait two, three, five hours to tame it to tame anything. It actually goes very quickly. Uh, this like I think it's called tight meat, something tight meat that you can use to tame it faster. But at the moment we cannot uh, access that because most of the things that give you that kind of meat, that prime meat. It's on the snow areas and like the more difficult areas. So we're just gonna use normal meat. There's no tame efficiency. So everything you tame uh would be the same level after it's tamed. So if I'm taming level 28, there's no extra levels, it would just be level 28 when, when it wakes up. And then you wanna repeat the process, get a bunch of hide, get a bunch of stuff. Uh, make sure you have your important items in your hotbar in case you do die. Uh, this is a firefly here that I could probably tame, which will give me light. Uh, if I can reach to it. And there we go, it's tame. So, it's the same principle with the whistle minions in Arc. You can hold T to whistle things passive. You can whistle T on a tame to make it follow you. You can whistle Y to make it stop. You can whistle U. And you can see all the whistles in your button menu you can see whistle passive whistle neutral and stuff like that I'm gonna feed my Tyrannon a couple more Narka rays and we're gonna wait until it wakes up and then we'll gather exploring so the next thing you want to do at this point once you have once you're past level 20 once you're level 20 and you have a Tyrannon it really is up to you. You can start building a base, find a place to build. If you do that, you might have to repeat the same process of taming at Radon. But at this point, you have the early, you have gone through the early stage and you're actually ready to explore. This is the part where you want to explore. This is the part where you want to, if you want to build, you want to keep leveling. This is all up to you. And we're going to wait until this Radon is tamed. All right, so now that our team is done, you can do the same thing like, like a normal R, you can name it. Um, make sure that you do whistle your team passive. Every time a team, every time you team something for the first time in Pixar, it will, for some reason, it's on aggressive. So keep that in mind when you, you team something. So we're going to press F while we're looking at the ground, and that would access the inventory of it. We're gonna have our Tyrannodon saddle here, and we can drag it to the saddle slot, and now we can actually ride it. At this point, we can do whatever we like, we can explore, we can go build, we can do whatever we want. The map is completely open to us, we can get some drops, some white drops, and things like that. I believe green drops are level 25. Alright guys, don't forget to check out the next video, and I'll see you guys next time.